Honourable Chair, Honourable Speaker, I wish to borrow words from a poet. Stop all the clocks. Cut off the telephone. Prevent the dog from barking with a juicy bone. Silence the pianos and with muffled drum, bring out the coffin, let the mourners come. There are moments that call for pause. That moment is now. Now we must stop the rhythm of the debate and call ourselves to quiet. It is amazing to me that a young woman stands in front of this house and she reads headline after headline and she quotes statistics. And in the halls of this parliament, we can still have conversations muffled while hundreds of our young women are dying on our streets in the most atrocious manner. The ACDP calls on this house to forget our politics and to lead a national call for prayer. You are protected, ma'am. I refuse to, to look at my notes and to have a normal conversation or a normal debate. If this can happen in South Africa, in this parliament, while our country is burning, then there is a big, bigger crisis. It is a crisis of leadership. It is a crisis of leadership for me and for you. Not for one party, but for all of us. We all now need to stop the debate. We need to give leadership to our people. Our people are terrified. 70,000 women in one week joins a, a movement to say enough. Now today, the headline reads, South Africans are calling out for the death penalty to return. How can we as women in the middle of a debate raise our voices and heckle like that and say that we are we are feeling the crisis. It is not good enough. It is not good enough. It is not good enough. Our people deserve better from us. From us. From us. We need to make a difference now. We need to make a difference now. Honorable Speaker, I am appalled. I am appalled that in this moment, when our people are waiting for us to respond, to respond to their pain, that we can have a normal debate or heckling in this house. Thank we you, are calling out now to everyone in this house that we as South Africans need to look back. We need to ask what will make this nation better. Today is that day, not tomorrow. Today is that day. Thank you, ma'am. Before I call you Honorable Nkwankwa, Honorable Members, the Honorable Sugars is right. This is not a moment where we divide ourselves. This is the moment where we focus on a national problem and we find one another and we find solutions. Can we just conduct that?